Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to set a dynamically to display number of columns. So I want to set dynamically the num number of columns to display in list box control in VBA code user forum. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output. Let's check the results. In the select column size, we have three columns I have added. After that, notice by default, it is displaying three, uh, all the data, three columns, employee number, employee name, and department. Now, if a user wants to select two columns only, it will display two columns, employee number and employee name. If a user selects only one column, one column. If the user selects three, we will get the three columns. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice on my excel sheet contains three columns, AMP number, employee name and department. Now my aim is, I will create one VBA code in, with user forum. When a user select a particular columns, for example, if the user wants to select only two columns, he can select dynamically to display only two columns in the list box. If the user wants to display only one column or three columns what are the columns he can choose dynamically at runtime only so let's start the coding part in order to create a user form click the developer menu in the developer menu under code there is a visual basic click that one now in the visual basic applications first we need to create one user form for that click insert user form let me expand this user form designing uh, designing user form now i will add one label here a label uh, the label is select the column column size select the column size and i'm adding the font color also bold coding okay rss2 now after that i will add one combo box and this combo box will contain some numbers so select the list uh, select the user form right click the mouse go to view code now we record the user form initialize the event so click initialize let's delete this default one now here i'm adding combo box one dot add item one let's copy this one two and three this is third and this is two if you want you can add more items also but i'm adding three items only one two three because we have only three columns now i want to display um, the list box the data first i want to display all the three columns in the list box so again switch over to the user form i'm adding one list box from this toolbox control uh, user form now select the user form right click the mouse go to view code here i'm adding the code is with with the list box the list box dot the property is column count is equals to three after that after that i'm adding the list list is equals to uh, the range the range here the range and we need to select the so switch over to the uh, excel sheet now to create the range we need to define the names for that, go to uh, data, not the data, formulas. Under formulas, define names. Let's click define name. Here, the name I'm adding, um, Charan. You can add any name. Now, refers to. Here, we need to select the cell range from A1 to C10. I have selected the range from the sheet one. Click the small button then click ok 
after that here the charan namespace is defined a defined name is uh, creator the range a1 to c10 now switch over to the vba code here i am adding my name charan dot value that's it value let's close this and width now let's check the output see here we got the three columns is added because we have set the column size is three column count is three and here in the above drop down list we got the numbers now we can select the column size two if the user select the size two i want to display the employee number and employee name only if the user selects only one we get the employee number so let's close this application now double click the combo box here the code is now code is this copy this code list box one with the list box on column count is equals to combo box one dot value the value that's it we don't need to change anything now let's check the final output and here we got the final output let's check the results In the select column size we have three columns i have added after that notice by default it is playing three a uh, all the data three columns employee number employee name and department now if a user wants to select two columns only it will display two columns employee number and employee name if the user selects only one column one column if the user selects three we'll get the three columns that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to set dynamically the number of columns displayed in a list box control using vba code in user forum thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial